Hey Bill. Yo. How does uh how is how does tonight feel knowing this is our last class we're filming for the documentary? Oh. I feel great. I'm sad that we're not gonna be filming more. Sorry. It's okay. I'm sad we're not gonna be filming more. Just because it makes me more accountable. But the fact that you're gonna be here a lot working out with me, and now that's on tape, it's gonna be good too. You will end up, yeah, we have to go the yeah. yeah. All right, guys, let's do this! Here we go! How much do you need to lose by Monday? None. Oh. It's not about weight loss. It's about keeping up the work. Am I getting too close? No, you're fine, you're beautiful. So Twyla, this is the last class that we're filming for the documentary. Um, how do you feel about the journey that Bill has gone on? And uh, does tonight feel kind of special to be here for the last class? Uh, Bill has killed it. He's come so far. He's come so far. He's, he's so excited. When he comes walking the door, he's a new person. He's excited about working out. When, it, when I first met him, he was not that excited guy. He wasn't excited to work out. He was, Kind of dreading it, I think. And he, yeah, you can tell he loves being here. He loves it. He's just—it's like a family. Your bear calls. You look like a little kid calling on the turf. When you first started, you did look like a little kid all limber. <laughs> yeah, you look really good tonight. All your movements today—I was looking at them. You look fantastic. You've come a long way. On three, guys. Nice work, Bill. On three. One, two, three. Nice, nice work, Bill. It's the final day of 2017, so December 31st, and it's been a great year, nothing to complain about. Um, obviously the weight loss has been there, it's been fun, the camp's great, the people are awesome, the trainers are great, so it's been nice to, to do it. It's been certainly a learning experience for me because I've learned a lot about what works with for me as far as what I eat. It certainly has helped me overcome some of the issues that I had with 2016. Um, I had a breakup, my mom passed away, and in that year I gained a lot of weight. And so this has helped me overcome that part of my life because the weight gain was certainly emotional eating and I know I need to not do that and certainly reward myself here and there, but not, you know, binge, which is what I used to do. Obviously, I think that when you see the physical changes in your own body, you, you want them really fast. You know, I think that we all want it faster than it can really happen. And so I don't have guns. I've always wanted guns, not the shooting kind but biceps and and so then I think to myself man those trainers they all got big guns and they they're all in really good physical shape and I, then I realized to myself they didn't do it in one year it's been a lifestyle for them they've done it over a period of who knows how many years their whole lives probably and so it's been that's been the, the little bit of the hurdle that I want to try to get over and I know that you know I'm not going to look like a, the trainer in one year, especially where I came from.
I did the math the other day and I not only go to the camp, but I go to LA Fitness too and play racquetball. And so if you add all the times that I've checked into both those places, I hit 405 check-ins in 2017. To 405. That's 405 workouts in 365 days, and that's not working out on Sundays. So I put in a lot of work, and it makes me proud. And uh, just if anybody out there is struggling and doesn't think they can do it, well, they can't. Because if I can do it, anybody can. I like everything about 2017. I have no complaints. You know, the, the amount of people that I've met and become friends with and you, for example, it's fun hanging out with you, even though you're just the guy behind the camera, you know, remain, for this video. I'm going, to be, I'm going to remain the disembodied entity for this documentary. That's right. You're, haven't you been on? Oh yeah, you, you're going to be in this documentary. You better be because I filmed you do a warm up. So people need to know who you are. You should be on it. Now, and now, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna film Connor's warm up. Oh yeah? Because I'm standing to do a double. Really? Yep. Awesome. How do you feel about that, Connor? Uh, I feel like I'm gonna have a harder time teaching you how to work the camera than I'm gonna have. I don't think you can, you're gonna have an issue with me because I'm not gonna like zoom in on your sweat glands and all that stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there will be a place because there's always a place to find good footage, and I know I shot great footage, unless you deleted it already because you were embarrassed by it. No, I have it. Okay. <laughs> I have everything for this. Hey everyone, I'm Connor. I'm the one that's been filming this whole documentary with Bill. Uh, this is the last night that we are filming here at the camp for the documentary, and um, Bill had the wonderful idea to film me doing the warm-up for the workout that we're gonna be doing together. And so, uh, it's really weird being on this side of the camera, but uh, this is all part of the movie magic. Don't get closer. <laughs> so what have you seen about Connor that you've noticed in terms of changes and stuff like that? Oh, when Connor first came in here, it was every movement, it was, he had to explain every movement and just work with him all the way through. Did you have to explain the class to him even after he had just watched a class for an hour? I did. Okay, I just wanted to check on that. Yeah. <laughs> proud of the weight loss for sure. Um, proud of being able to stick to the, um, to the program. Proud that after um, I was done in July with challenges that I became a member and um, stuck with that for um, who knows how many months, what, five months before I kind of fell off the wagon a little bit during the holidays. Um, but falling off the wagon, to me, outweighs the accomplishments, because I don't ever want to go back there. So, because it doesn't take very many failures to screw up everything that I've achieved as far as the weight loss part of it goes. And the goal is to continue this um, healthy lifestyle and not call it weight loss anymore but to stick with it my mom was a smoker for a lot of her life and of course being her child her only child who was not a smoker I would always tell her you need to stop smoking it's horrible and you know and you need to stop it and uh, one day she just decided she was gonna stop smoking so she stopped smoking and she just never smoked again and so I think she would just say, look, I stopped smoking, you can stop doing this too. And it's that simple, just do it. And don't stop. So that's kind of my mindset is to just not stop, keep going. And, and people ask me all the time, well, don't you just feel great? And don't you just feel so much better? And well, yes, I do. But I'm also looking out of the same eyeballs. I'm looking in the same mirror and I'm seeing myself. And I don't see, I mean, I know physically I'm changed in size because, you know, obviously clothes and everything else. But when I look in the mirror, I see the same guy. And so 
Um, that's never gonna. That's never gonna change. As a matter of fact, a quick little story for you. I don't know if I told you this, but um, I weighed. I weighed myself. I have an app on my phone, and I weigh myself on my scale, and it syncs to my app on my phone. And I know I'm not supposed to, but I do it every day. Well, I didn't want to do it on Christmas Eve. So I weighed in on the 23rd, and then we had a huge Christmas Eve family dinner. And then I weighed in on the 25th, and the app on my phone wanted to know if it was really me, because I gained eight pounds. We had pasta, bread, you name it. And just amazing how your body can react to stuff like that. From eating clean for a long time, and then boom, change it up, and your body just rejects food. Or at least it does for me. So. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm gonna get in one hike this year. I've been intimidated by the hike um, because of uh, my knee issue, because I have a torn meniscus in my knee and plantar fasciitis in my opposite foot. So um, I'm also scared of heights. And so one of the big mountains that we, or that the camp folks climb a lot, or anyone around town climbs is Camelback. And I, I'm really looking forward to getting out to that um, hike one day. We're doing a smaller hike though, we're gonna do it today. So it'll be my, my one hike. It'll be shorter, easier, but it'll get my feet wet. So looking forward to that. The first hill looked a lot more intimidating than it ultimately was, but as I, started to walk on it, it was, it was fine. Um, we stopped a couple times because my daughter needed to rest, which was quite surprising. I thought she would run by me. Um, she kept asking me, why are you going so fast? Why are you going so fast? So and that was kind of fun. it was much easier than I thought it would be, that's for sure. So it makes me want to do those, those harder ones. I'm looking forward to it. Really getting up there and being on that big uh, pad on the summit was, you know, because it was really flat. It, it really just, uh, <clears throat> it's funny because it, it really just brought me to making, really making me want a house on that because the views are so spectacular. So I, it was nice being with my daughter um, and, uh, and having her there with me, that was certainly awesome. And, and you, and, uh, but uh, I don't know that I got too wrapped up in the moment per se, but it did, it, it did, it was nice to know that I made it with fairly, and it was fairly easy. So harder ones are next to come. It's pretty surreal to be up here and being able to look down around the whole town and see what all of the uh, my friends do on a weekly basis. Uh, knowing now that I can do it, it's it's kind of cool, even though I've got a, a couple injuries right now. And being up here wasn't too much of an issue, so it is cool to know that I'll be able to go out with them. And, you know, I may not be the weekly person that'll go, but at least I know I can go every. Every couple of weeks, on cue, you get a phone call. Hold on. Hey, I'm on the top of a mountain right now uh, doing uh, an interview on camera. Is there something I can help you with? In 2017, I never really focused on fear. I never really had fear. I was always confident that I was going to be able to do it. Um, until maybe the last few days of my final challenge. Um, but it still wasn't fear. It was wonder if I was going to make it. Um, so I was a little stressed out about that. Um, 2017, I, I hope that I was a role model to, to a lot of the people. 
I hope I was inspirational to some people. And uh, hopefully in 2018, I can do the same thing, but from a different angle. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot of, you know, because I'm going to be at that gym, you know, as long as I can foresee at this point, because it works for me, the style of the style of place that it is. Um, I'm sure that there's going to be people that are going to walk in there that are going to be new challengers that are going to say, why is he in here? Because he doesn't fit the profile. And that's kind of my goal is to not fit the pro profile of somebody that's there. Um, um, but I just look, I'm just trying to look, look forward to 2018 and just keep the momentum going. I think momentum is probably a good word to use for 2018. No, I just want to thank everybody for watching this documentary and, and, and hope that it helps in some ways motivate for them to, to, to realize that if they have a down day that it's just a day just keep moving forward and that the tomorrow's can bring a better, better day and uh, and uh, just know that you can do it you just put your mind to something you will do it you just have to stay focused and it doesn't have to be weight loss it can be anything if you think you can do it you will but if you think you can't do it, you won't be able to. So just put your mind to it and, and focus and, uh, and work hard. You get what you want.